Of course, you should be trying to meditate all day long, keeping your center with the breath, because it's going to be in between the formal meditation sessions that you learn a lot of the most important lessons about your mind. How you can make up your mind to do one thing, and then a few seconds later you find you're off someplace else. And the mind has lots of reasons for going. And you're so used to going, going, going in the course of the day that you tend not to stop and reflect that how often is it really necessary. Back during World War II, they were trying to get people to ask themselves if they're taking a trip, is this trip really necessary? Because they wanted to cut down on the use of fuel here in the country so they could use it for the war effort. Of course, our battle here is a battle with the defilements. So when the mind goes out and asks itself, is it really going out because it needs to or just because it wants to have a little fresh air, change of scenery? And occasionally it does need a little change of scenery, but again, it's, it's so easy to take that as an excuse to go traveling all around the world several times. So you've got to be real strict, really strict with the mind as you go through the day if you really want to get some good results from your formal meditation. Think of the mind as being on a short leash. If it's gone through the day on a short leash, when the time comes to sit down, there you are. It's right nearby. If it's on a long leash, you know what happens to animals on long leashes? They get wound up around things. Lamp posts, people's legs, benches other animals, and you've got to spend a long time unwinding them. It's a lot of wasted time. Remember the Buddhist reflection, this breath, I know I have this breath, let's make the most of it, because I don't know if we're going to have the next breath or the next. So when the mind has to think, let it think. When it doesn't have to think, okay, bring it back in. It's like a John Fung's instructions. He says, ask yourself before you say something, is this really necessary? If it's not, why say it? If you have the same principle for your mind, you find that a lot of unnecessary thoughts you can just go by the wayside, you can just drop them. Now we have more and more and more time to practice. Sometimes people complain here at the monastery, the work schedule is such that we don't have much time to practice. But you can breathe while you're working, so you can focus on your breath while you're working. You use your mind while you're working, so you can focus on your mind, see what it's doing. Remember the word for meditation in Pali is bhavana, which means to develop. And you can develop good qualities in the mind any time of the day. Your eyes closed, eyes open, sitting, walking, standing, lying down by yourself, with other people. It's always an opportunity to develop something good in the mind. If you take that attitude, then you find that the practice develops momentum. <laughs>